Hey, random people, welcome back. My name is Keegan Luther and I am your host. Welcome back to the second week of the Random Stuff Film Festival. This week, we are presenting to you our winner for... Uh, oh, so, sorry guys, uh, hold on. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you can pull them up. Um, Keegan, hey, hey buddy. I just wanna let you know, I've been doing a little resolution. Ben, that's uh, really great, but uh, I'm actually... Um, and I just watched Batu. Tickle me inspired. But, well, you know, Ben, actually, it's, it's funny that you mentioned that, but... Uh, so I decided to take up Ballerina. Ben, I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure. It's that's not some, exactly a, a tutu. I don't, it's um, a dress I tied to my waist, but baby steps here. It's all part of the process, the creative process. That's uh, ben, I'm actually kind of doing the intro right now. Oh, you're, you're introducing it now. You know, you're, you weren't here, so I just uh, thought that I would do it you know, by myself. Uh, you, didn't, you didn't tell me. That you were doing I mean, that no, you could stick around if you want. You can, uh, I mean, you can kind I of. I just um, thought it was collaborative. We were going to do it together or something, or I, mean, I would be able to you, do it. Let, let's just go to title. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about this. All right, Ben. So listen. everybody so again welcome to week two of our four week random stuff film festival today we are presenting to you our winner of best drama the film is called batu it is written and directed by zaida matos and it is about a young woman who will stop at nothing to achieve her dream of becoming a world-class ballerina this is a great film we love it we are so happy to be showing it this week and we hope that you enjoy it and please stick around for an interview with uh writer and director zaida matos as well as shannon ramsey who was the cinematographer for the film. Enjoy. Hey Jules, how was class? Oh, you know, another thrilling day in the world of agricultural biotechnology. <laughs> What's that? An audition? Uh, yeah, it's for the fall recital. You're gonna audition? Well, hell yeah. I'm not gonna let an opportunity like this pass my way. I mean, it will come again. That's awesome. $200 to enter? Jerry? I know. Um, I'm picking up extra shifts, I'm not worried. Are you gonna work for another job? If I'll make it. I just, I'll be making more money dancing than I ever have at that bar anyway. Making $30 a night just isn't cutting it anymore. Shit, I'm late for work. Doing laying in the park. I didn't make enough for auditions. I'm sure it'll be okay. No, it won't. The deadline is tomorrow, and I didn't make enough money yet. It can't. Oh, don't cry. I can loan you. Julia, no, you can't. I can. How much do you need, Daisy? I need. 50 more, 50? but I... Come on. Your birthday's coming up soon anyway. No, no. Seriously. It's... It's fine. I'll just dip into my streets. Thank you, though. Don't mention it. 
Now move. I came out here for a snack and watch it.
your leg. <laughs> going through it now, but you're going to come out of this just fine. Your leg will heal and you will dance again. I promise you that. Recording. So I'm here with a couple of the great filmmakers behind Batu. Hi, I'm Zaida Batos, and I am the writer director of Batu. And I'm Shannon Ramsey, cinematographer of Batu. So we'll start with you, Zaida. Uh, do you have a background in dance? How did this movie come to be, at least on the page? Um, well, I did take dance when I was younger, but it wasn't very something. It wasn't something that I pursued. Um, as a hobby or anything like that, but I've always been fascinated with dancing. Um, in my free time, I always watch dance videos, and particularly ballet always fascinated me in the way, um, just how elegant the dancers move, and it, also the movie Black Swan. I watched it when I was younger, and I was just very fascinated about the whole story. My uh, Elena and Mickey, who formerly worked with me during the pre-production process, helped me write it. Um, and help me with like themes and everything. So let's talk about some of those uh, themes that you were just mentioning. Um, as far as a lot of the struggles are kind of universal to everyone, uh, which I'm sure was your goal, but which ones were you going for a more universal approach and then which ones were kind of specific to stuff that you had gone through? With universal, I feel like we all really try to achieve what we want, really want. and. We definitely all felt the anxiety, uh, the pressure, and just like the mental strains in trying to complete your dream. There's like so many like things that can go wrong, so many things that you don't want it to happen. And sometimes that anxiety gets the best of us. Um, and I just wanted to tell a story that's like, you know, it's okay not to be okay. It's okay to seek help. It's okay to say, I'm not well right now, I need help, and then I can go. Dan, and tell me what your approach to shooting it kind of was, because clearly it had a style, especially in the more anxious scenes. 
Yeah, um, from the beginning, Zyda thought it was important to uh, use the shakiness of the camera as a theme itself. So the more unstable she is, the shakier the camera gets um, until it's stabilized at the end. Um, so that was that was a fun thing to play with, and when she uh, spoilers <laughs> at the climax of the film, completely handheld with the complete disregard to stabilization. So that was fun to to play with. So what did you guys learn in the process of making this? And this could be anything from stuff that happened on set. I think, like from a director's point, what you put in a writer's point as well, what you put on paper isn't going to be 100% what you actually film. And, um, that's when it really I feel like the skills of being a filmmaker really go in because if you can't, if you're not ready for those moments to just do it and try to make some, have something make sense visually, then I feel like that's the best type of experience, I believe. There's no limit to how much work you can put into it before you get to set. Uh, but at some point you have to trust that you know the story inside and out, you're not going to mess it up. Because I put the work in and I knew the story and I knew what we needed. Um, and that's all you can hope for, is that you know what you need when you get there. Yeah, well that too is beautiful. And so this is the last question for both you guys. What do you hope people, audiences, take away from this piece? If, if there are artists watching, I hope they feel a little bit less anxious about what they're doing or they feel a little bit less crazy about not being able to give up because that's a beautiful thing not giving up on what you love yeah just you're going through it and it it sucks in the moment but just to continue working on your craft and doing what you love because at the end of the day nothing else is going to make you happy nothing else is going to fulfill you in a way that nothing else can and um, I feel like I hope this story touches people not only in that aspect but also to encourage them to get the help they need because we all, we, all, we all need help at certain times in our life and I hope that, that this story helps people uh, reach out awesome. yeah that's all from me Thank you guys so much for hopping on. But yeah, thanks so much, guys, and congrats on making such a good movie. Thank, Thank you. you. And me again. Hey, so why we thought Batu was so awesome is because it takes an experience that's so relatable to so many artists or anyone that's really pursuing a dream with an uncertain light at the end of the tunnel and capturing the anxieties, the trepidations involved that we need to remind ourselves we all go through. And this is why we chose Batu for best drama. Well, as much as I like making fun of Ben, he actually really did hit the nail on the head there. And we just love this film. We think that it's really beautiful and we think that it's a very beautiful way to start off 2021. In fact, we were so inspired by this film as well as all of the films of our film festival that we are deciding to make this festival a bi-monthly film festival. As of today, the entries have opened for February's festival. Please submit for only $10. We would love to see your film. Again, anything that is 15 minutes and under and has a general PG-13 rating and is inspiring. And please tune in next week as we premiere Love Lie. It is our runner-up. We think it's a great, imaginative, very unique film. We are excited to show it to you. Please follow us on social media at Random Stuff and as well as visit our website, so remember, next Saturday at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, Love Lie is premiering. So we hope to see you then, and until then, stay inspired. Hey, what's up, you guys? Thank you so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. Um, if you have the time, please make sure to check out, you know, our next video, which is up, up here. Yep, up here. <laughs>